Okay, so we're asked to find the domain range and the asymptote of this function. And I'm going to solve it quickly using an algebraic approach, but you can use a graphical or parent approach function. It's just I want to get straight to the point for you. So the idea of a basic log function is that the domain is anything greater than zero, right? So for example, if you have g of x equals the log base 2 of x, what would the domain be? The domain would be where x is greater than 0 because there's no power of 2 that could be 0, right? 2 to, to any exponent, you're never going to get 0. It has to be bigger than 0. Remember, x is the result, and you, the log you're finding is the exponent. There is no exponent that gets you 0, so it can't happen. And also the range for a log function, right? The range uh, it represents all the different values you can get. Essentially, in this case, the range are all the different values you can plug in as an exponent. So, for example, this is right. This is saying two to the y equals x. So x that's your domain. Right? I'm just writing the same statement in exponential form, and y values that's your range values. I could pick any exponent, right? I could pick any exponent for my range. So the range could be anything. I could say that the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. And you remember those curve brackets mean exclusive, which means I could also write my domain as from zero to infinity non-inclusive. You don't want to include zero. So for example, if you saw this with a square bracket around the zero, that means including zero, that's not going to work, right? We can't have zero there. Finally, uh, what are we looking at? Our asymptote. So since our domain is greater than zero, but uh, we know that the the results have to be bigger than zero, okay? That's our domain. But there isn't, there isn't uh, a number we approach. We can approach zero on the um, the line x equals zero, that's our asymptote. We can approach that line, we should never reach it. So our asymptote for a basic parent function of a logarithm, and by basic parent function, I just mean any base, uh, log base two, base three of x. Your asymptote will be at the vertical line x equals zero. So we can never reach that. We can get close to it, we can never reach it. And that's because in this case, let's, let's look at that real quick. You have two to different powers and you're getting x. So you can look at 2 to the negative 1, that's a half. Okay, we're getting closer to 0. Then 2 to the negative 2, even closer, it's a fourth. 2 to the negative 3, that's an eighth. And as we go further and further, as our, as our exponents, as our outputs, our y values get smaller and smaller and smaller, these fractions, a half, a fourth, an eighth, they get closer and closer to 0. Now, when we look at this function right here, this f of x function, we can use this information to our advantage. The domain, you can't just say x has to be bigger than zero because we're now adding four to x, right? So x plus four has to be bigger than zero. That's still true. So if we subtract four on both sides, that reminds us that x could be anything bigger than negative four. If x is negative four, it's a problem. You're gonna be taking negative four plus four at zero and there's no, no power of two at zero, but anything above four uh, will work. So our domain, is from negative four, non-inclusive, to infinity. And the asymptote is at the point where we reach zero effectively. It's at x equals negative four. And you could tell too because you're adding four to the input and that's a translation left of four. This plus two is a vertical shifting. It has no impact on a, on a vertical asymptote because the line's infinite. Moving up or down by two is not gonna matter. And has no impact on your domain, but uh, it could have an impact on the range, but not here. Range is infinite for logarithms, negative infinity to positive infinity. So the range is still, range is still from negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, that was a quick, short way of looking at it. I hope it helped.